Welcome to week three of Public Service Consulting Practicum. This week we are reading chapter three in the textbook. The third C, create. Here we create a solution for the client's problems. There are six steps in the create stage. Process versus expert, manage creativity, divergent scanning, convergent choice, solution storyboarding, and resourcing the solution. So now we'll go through them step by step. Number one, process versus expert. One of the most significant issues at this stage is who provides the solution. The answer lies at the heart of what type of consulting service you are offering. What type of consultant are you? process or expert? Do you give the solution? Do you help them discover their solution? Are you somewhere in between? Even if you are an expert, often it's more effective to help your clients discover the solution for themselves. Number two, managed creativity. Use the create model to originate and develop potential solutions for the core issue identified in the clarify stage. Thomas Edison often decided what he wanted to invent before knowing if it was possible. His process of invention was characterized by repeated trial and error, and experiment after experiment until those studies led to those flashes of insight known as inspiration. From this came his well-known comment that genius is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. Creativity is divergent then convergent. Number three, divergent scanning. Explore the possibility of finding ideas and solutions that might exist elsewhere rather than trying to originate something new. The divergent part of the journey will have three stages. Challenge the status quo, randomize potential solutions, and explore each of these ideas. Number four is convergent choice. Assess the impact of the final decision to be presented to the client. Praise each idea and filter out those that do not help in resolving the original issue. Test the remaining ideas with explicit criteria to identify which of them can deliver a valued output. Evaluate each of the remaining options against the core requirement to ensure that the end solution deals with the problem. Number five is solution storyboarding. Breathe life into the potential solutions and start to validate their potential to deal with the issue. Shrink to one single action plan. The storyboard is a sequential model using both text and pictures that describe the journey a change might take. What are the steps that would be taken to implement this solution? Number six, resourcing the solution. Map the resources to the potential solutions to ensure that they are viable. What resources are needed to implement this solution? This has been a summary of the third C. Um, be sure to read chapter six in the textbook. Post your answer to the discussion forum and comment on other students' posts. I'll be talking with each of you at the same times as uh, was planned this last week.